So, what I want to do here is this. I want to talk about how to run a unit test. So, as you can see, I have it up here. I have unit test and I have integration test. So, unit test is basically a way to assert that a specific unit of your app is working the way it's supposed to, as you can see here. And integration test is when multiple units are working together. Now, to do this test, I'm going to use Jest. If you've ever used Mocha before, Jest is almost identical to Mocha. I've used Mocha before, but I just prefer to use Jest now, so there's really no difference. So I'm going to use Jest to run the test suits. And I'm going to use another package called Puppeteer, which is going to basically create a virtual browser. And that virtual browser is going to visit my local host web page and do things there. So you can see the GitHub page here of Puppeteer, uh, just to show you some of the optional uh, commands. So let me, sh let me show you the app I'm going to use it on for, um, first. So I've, I've made the app already. Let's see, let me start my server. Let's open terminal. Uh, let's see, okay. Let me drag the, the file, because that might take some time. I don't want to waste any time. Okay, so I'm going to start my server by just saying node mon. Okay, my server started. So let me show you, show you the, this is the code, but let's visit the website localhost 8000 it's coming up it's coming up bingo so this is the site so I made this site for a specific school it's an online newsletter it's pretty cool but the goal today's video is not about how I made this site um, the goal is to test some of some specific units on this page so let me show you how to do that so first thing first let us download Jest using npm. Hopefully you have npm already installed. So let's see, I, I already have Jest and Puppeteer, but it's only gonna update it, so it doesn't really matter. So you just do npm. Hopefully you can see what I'm typing here. If not, let me clear it. Okay, npm install dash dash save Jest. So it's going to update it because I have it already. It's not going to re-download. Let's see. Okay, it's, it's going. Give it some time. It's, my version is 23.6. Oh, let's see when one new version gets updated. So um, or maybe it doesn't get updated. Let's see. Um, wow, that is downloading. Let, let's... So the goal here basically is to test to test each button to, to make sure that I can easy, easily click them and to have the virtual browser confirm that the page correctly clicks. Let's see. Is it done? Okay, it, it updated two packages, as you can see. It's still the same version, so nothing really changed. That's fine. Next thing, let us download Puppeteer. I already have it, but... Just to show you how it works, Puppeteer. Again, if you don't have it, this is a chance for you to download it. I'm using npm. Again, Puppeteer is most likely going to update maybe one or two packages. The version that I have right now is 1.11. So Puppeteer, again, what it does is it creates a virtual browser. And that virtual browser visits it. It basically goes to your page and it clicks and do things that you want it to do. And that's how I'm going to run this test. Now, I'm not going to show you every single unit test. I'm only going to do a specific unit test, which is testing that the header works. Okay, perfectly. So we have downloaded both packages. So um, we will continue the next version in the next video. And I'll show you how to use both packages.